Part two of the Red Wing Heritage, the greatest Red Wing Heritage collection in North America and Europe. <laughs> part two. Now, I must say part two is going to be uh, quicker, shorter, because in my second closet, um, I don't have as many Red Wings anymore because what I did is as I acquired more of the Rios and the Lucchese, I took out Red Wings and put those in storage. So uh, more of like the Mock Toes went down in storage because I'd much rather wear a Roper than a Mock Toe right now. So this um, will be a shorter video, but uh, at the same time, the ones that I have in, my, in the second closet um, are quite nice. So the, the ones that I kind of like, uh, kind of, I, I would say maybe I wear the most out of this closet, the smaller one, I find that I wear these boots. They, they find themselves in rotation more than the first one. Okay. And also there's some really nice ones in there. <laughs> uh, give me one second. I need to check something. Today I am wearing the 8189 Rough Out Picos. Um, they are, I think it's walnut. I think that is the, the name of the, uh, the leather. And someone sent me a DM and they, and they showed that um, Kanye West has been wearing a roper. The Pecos are a roper. And they showed uh, Kanye wearing ropers. And he, he said, I wouldn't be surprised if Kanye comes out with uh, a line of ropers um, soon which they would probably look like this or the 8188s, kind of like that rough out, that dark, because he, he does use kind of a lot of um, uh, neutral colors. So um, <laughs> that was interesting. Um, if Kanye comes out with some ropers, it, it, <laughs> it, uh, it would, uh, yeah, it would be interesting to see that around the streets because everyone, you know, loves Kanye. They wear the sneak the Adidas or whatever. Uh, I can't think of the proper name right now of, of his shoes. The Yeezys. Um, so if there were Yeezy ropers, would be interesting. Oh, also some, a lot of you kind of uh, uh, ask um, about my watch. So in the part one, I was wearing uh, a vintage Rolex Explorer from like 1968, 69. Uh, this is a vintage Omega Seamaster from the 1950s because I know um, you guys uh, see those and um, comment on those. This shirt is from Tellison. Oops, hit the mic. This shirt is from Tellison, made in the USA. Um, I got it some time ago during like the in height of the quarantine. And uh, yeah, it's a cool shirt. All right, on to, I'm going to start on this side. Um, these behind me, I've already went through. These were from Closet 1. They're just props because I, I didn't have enough, like I said, in Closet um, 2. So everything that I'm going to show is here. And here, these I've already shown. And I got a cool sign from Red Wing back there when I went up there last, uh, last week. Um, they gave me that sign. And I was like, that'd be great. I can use it for my videos. Okay, so let's start on this side. What do we have here? These are the, ah, uh, yes, the 8866 that I had resold. These are the um, Pecos in the um, Oro Russet. Uh, these... I wore these a lot when, when I got them back and then um, I put probably four coats of boot oil on them um, and I kind of liked how that turned, how that looked. Um, and these have a stacked heel. They came with the traction tread and there was no way, I, never, I was like, nope, absolutely not. I'm never wearing them with the traction tread on there. Sent them immediately brand new to Red Wing and got a stacked heel in there and they turned out really nice. They're cool. That's the uh, 8866. Oh, and also, so I wasn't keeping count and someone said there were 68 in the first video. So if whoever's keeping count, 68, I think was the tally. I may be wrong because I honestly wasn't counting. Ah, these are the 214s, uh, the uh, eight inch mock toes um, that were a gift. Uh, eight inch mock toe in ox blood and the laces are from Pishka. Pishka sent me some laces for these. Thank you. That was really nice. And they uh, look really good with that. It's a nice, uh, nice thing in here. Uh, here we have the, ah, this is the 2940. I'll pull this one out because it's nice and nice. 2940 Oral Russet Round Toe, 8 inch Round Toe. 
um, the one that you guys had seen uh, me uh, where I thought I destroyed it putting on the boot oil, but uh, it's fine. And um, put some leather laces. I've worn these quite, quite a bit. Um, eight inch round toe, very comfy. It's a good boot to, to wear if you're just gonna be walking around all day on your feet all day. It's a really comfy boot. Ba basically like an eight inch Rover. This is heavy. So this, uh, okay, to complement that, this is also, uh, this is an eight inch uh, copper rough and tough um, with a different, so this is, I guess, the, what, what did they, the farmer, copper rough and tough. Um, I, I think you guys remember when I did these, I have, they're heavy because I have uh, boot trees in them just because to help with the shape because when I wore them, they it was kind of digging in on the shaft. So I put in some shoe trees to sort out that shape. And then here, what do we have here? Ah, yes. Oh, these are dirty because I take these to the park when I walk the dogs. 45.85, Briar, uh, the logger, um, one of my faves. And as you can tell, they're really dirty because I, um, when I do take the dogs to the park and it's you know wet and muddy, great boot for that. So uh, 45.85, you can see like most of the boots that I have in the closet, in this second closet are of the eight inch. Um, what is this? Uh, this is the, yes, the Harvester, the 2944 that I had resold. Beautiful. <clears throat> in the um, uh, black harness leather. And I think I put some, I feel like they're a bit tacky, so I must have conditioned them with something. But mm, what I call the 8-inch Beckman. Tell you, some goodies in there. <laughs> Lots of goodies in that, in that closet. Uh, what do we have here? This, oh yes, these are uh, the Pecos that I um, had resold and then I dyed in indigo. I, I dipped them. Um, these are the 8168 originally, but then I um, did my own thing to them. So yeah, there you go. Actually, yeah. And then down here, we have a nice, I think you know what that is. An Oxford. Yes, this is the Williston Oxford. What's the number on here? The 9431. Um, a great, um, a great shoe for uh, uh, weddings, interviews, um, funerals. <laughs> uh, yeah, the and it's comfortable. I, I've I've had to wear it a couple times for I think like a shoot or something. I I, I had I think I was like getting married in a in a, in a photo shoot and. Um, I had to wear them, I think, or, but, oh, no, no, no. It was for um, a shoot for a pharmaceutical in uh, the Hamptons, and I had to wear them. And I remember one of the, um, uh, the actor, he was like, he's like, well, th those are um, the shoes for, that the stylist gave you. I was like, actually, these are mine. I was like, he's like, oh, they're nice. I was like, yeah, I just haven't, I haven't worn them. Um, but the Williston Oxford is uh, very, I don't even, I'm not even sure if it's available anymore. I know the, the Williston boot, I don't think is available anymore, but the Oxford, I don't know, but I'm glad I jumped on it and I got it for a steal. Okay. This thing here, I, I know what this is. This one, I know that a majority of you do not have. Um, this one is rare. It's probably the rarest I have in my entire collection um, because there were less than 700 of these made and it is the 4545 red wing spitfire in spitfire leather black spitfire leather and you can try and make these and copy it you know by buying um an 8083 dyeing it and then putting on a black uh vibram mini lug but it's not the same because this one has some details in it that um, those will, so you can try and copy it, but, um, people will know because there's a few details on this boot, particular boot that, um, uh, make it, um, make it an original starting with the, um, red wing that's on the side of the boot. And then there's a, another detail on there that is different, um, than any other 
So you can try and fake it, but it won't happen. It won't work because uh, there's a, a, a detail, a visual detail that you'll know that it's not an actual 4545. So and I, I think I may have worn these once. Or maybe I wore it for, actually, no, I wore it to review it and then I haven't worn it since. But these are super rare. Very nice. Um, less than 700 pairs in the world. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do we have here? Ah, yes. The 879. These beauties here. So these um, are the 8-inch uh, Hawthorne. Uh, so it'd be like the 877. Uh, but this is the Hawthorne. 8 inch Hawthorne that I had resold and uh, just reworked to, to something that I would like. So I would actually sell these, but, um, but for what I paid for the boot, number one, and then the, what I put into the boot to get it to look like this, the conversion with the, uh, with the Rochia sole and the gun metal. So uh, this boot is completely um, customized in that way. I would probably have to let these go for about $800 just to get back what I put into that. So if anyone's interested in these size nine, um, it's going to cost you 800 bucks to get it out of my, <laughs> to get it out of my hands. Cause I haven't worn, I have not worn them. I just, um, did the review after I did the conversion and then they're in the closet. Cause I really don't, I haven't re really worn mock toes that much since, uh, March or whatever. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested, you're gonna have to cough up some cash, 800 bucks, because uh, the conversion and what I had to pay for the boot itself. Um, so yeah, what it is, 8188. This is these are the first 8188s that I purchased, and they're looking really good. Cork sole. I got these from Stag, I think. I think I got these from Stag, um, but they have some nice crocking from the denim, which I really like that look. Um, these were the first pairs, and I have. Uh, uh, two others. You saw one that I did in the first part, and then um, I have two other pair of those. These, uh, what is this? The 9436. So this is a Williston boot um, in the black. This is beautiful. Uh, it doesn't even look like I've ever worn. <laughs> I don't think I've ever worn this. Um, but look at that. It's a beauty. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to put it away. I'm not going to say anymore. <laughs> just put it away. Just put it away. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Ah, 80, ah, yes, 8844. 8844, the, the, the Pecos in black Albaline uh, rough out. I, um, I got these from Spain. Um, these were very hard to track down, and I was so happy that I was able to find these because it's... Uh, Oh, th it's different than the other Pecos because it doesn't have cork. It has Kemi gum. And you can definitely feel the difference when you put it on and you walk with it. It's much softer than the cork. Um, but um, glad I was able to find these. I, I really like those. Ah, yes, uh, the 1188s. These, um, I, this has the cork, uh, Hawthorne, Abilene. I have of these, <laughs> two of these. You saw the other one, uh, which I call the Ghost Pecos. This one is with the cork. Very comfortable. Uh, I really like the, the level of that. I can put those on and just walk. Just keep on walking. Just keep on walking. Ah, another um, 8188 Pecos. This is with the Stack Hill. And yeah, um, original sole. Um, just to put a, a, a leather stack on there. Um, just to see how that would look and just to make it different than the other ones that I already own. So I like how it turned out. Okay, getting down to the last two from there. I told you there's some goodies and then some, then I tell you some goodies. Ah, this is not the original box. So this is the 2972 engineer in the copper rough and tough. Um, I really like this engineer. Um, I like the, the copper rough and tough is a nice leather ages really nicely um so yeah i got those but the boxes i had to get the box from red wing because um, i bought them used new used because um and so yeah the boxes the boxes what it is all right and ah, 
finally we have oh yes this is this was my favorite release of uh, 2019 the 4328 um the climber um i really like this this was my favorite release I, this um eight inch with the uh, green chemi gum bottom in the black prairie uh one of one of my favorites absolutely i i, I dig this boot a lot and um it's gonna uh, they just the detail that they when it, when they designed this boot i thought was great with the green um piping the green sole just all around um just a cool boot and then the way they promoted it great job on that um so yeah 4328 and uh there you go that is the second closet um part two of my red ring collection and then uh i'm um a little scared to do part three because i have to bring stuff up from storage <laughs> and it's a lot and um but it's gonna be fun and it's mostly mock toes some really good mock toes and um probably a great deal of those will be for sale um, I can I can already picture um, going through in my head because I was just down there recently um, picking up some 8169s, um, which are the black Pecos that um, I'm I may give to um, give to someone. Um, but if you if if he likes them, if he, he's going to try them on, if he doesn't like the way they feel and the way they look, then um, obviously they'll stay in my collection. But if he likes them, then he, then he can have them. Um, but uh, yeah, there you have it. Part two of the greatest Red Wing Heritage collection in North America and Europe. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, be a See you guys next time.